as part of the UK student visa process, you have to appear for CAS, pre-CAS and immigration interviews. These mock interviews are conducted with the students is very crucial to pave your path to achieve your ultimate goal. If you want to appear for similar interviews, I've added the link into the description below. You need to become a member of the channel. Upon confirmation, you will receive an invitation to the meeting and also the potential questionnaire to prepare for the interview. Let's enjoy the latest recorded interview. Okay. Right. Uh, thank you very much for joining in. Uh, can you confirm your name and date of birth, please? Uh, my name is Mahiyaya and my date of birth. Can you describe the course you yes. will be studying? Uh, is a, a diagnostic radiograph uh, is a uh, part of uh, health professional care and is based on a x-rays and C CT and uh, nuclear tag and MRI tags and those uh, modulating with the NHS or the part of uh, medical science uh, will help the doctor to, to diagnose the disease before they give some treatment. And the, uh, for example, with like x-rays, imaging and those things, uh, I'm looking to be uh, part of this course, and I'll, I'll, I'm really looking forward at, uh, to achieve this uh, my career goal plan. Can you describe the modules you are going to study in this course? Uh, this is based on uh, uh, anatomy, uh, uh, anatomy and histology, and uh, MRI tag. Uh, and uh, nuclear tags. Are you required to do work placement as part of your course? Yes, because uh, we do like a two, three days at uni and we do have a two days at work placement. Some units, they do have a work placement inside the uh, universities, like a, a university hospital and like a all private clinical. Those will help you or help a student to do like a work experiment while, while he's studying or while we are studying. How does this course relate to your previous study? Well, because I'm doing a level three science course and my course is related with the science, uh, biology, physics and chemistry. At the moment, I'm doing uh, combined science, biology, physics and chemistry. This will give me knowledge and better understanding for my next uh, course at uni. How long does your course last? Uh, uh, pro uh, normally, uh, diagnostic radio will take a three years course if you're studying full time and a part time course will take you up to five years. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to do those three years plus one year extra so I can get more experience. How your chosen course will be assessed? Uh, uh, this course will be assessed by examination, uh, self studies, group studies, and uh, presentation, uh, written exam, and uh, some practicals. Can you tell me about any modules you are particularly interested in? Uh, since our kids, I'm really uh, interested in medical field side, especially anatomy, because uh, I feel myself that I'm really uh, in or engaged or more interesting with this course, and uh, and based on on a scientific, and I'm really uh, find myself enjoying in this particular part, and I would like to discover every day the new uh, modern discovery about science. And my passion for this is never going to end, and I will really enjoy in itemy. Thank you. Why do you want to study at this university? Uh, well, that's really good question because after deep researching on a, on a internet and asking my uh, friends students, I find out this 
university have a great facility of study with a uh, quality of studies that I'm looking for. And also they do have a really great support that also helped me to achieve my, my, my course. And also university have really uh, good, good uh, locations that so will help all everything's available for me. And I think this is gonna help me to achieve my course. Where is this university located? Uh, it's located in west of England, in Bristol. How much is your course tuition fee? Uh, because at the moment I'm just between a home student and uh, international student. For home student, uh, the normal fee is nine thousand and three hundred pound, and for international student is thirteen thousand and five hundred pound. And I think I'm going to be home student. I'll probably I'll pay 9,300 uh, pounds. Okay. My next question is uh, why you have chosen to study in the UK? Uh, well, that's really good questions. UK is one of the great uh, uh, places to someone to study because they do have really uh, quality of studies. That's everybody willing or succeeding in a world and the, uh, also the uh, system of education in uk is really high if compared to the other countries and also uh the uk's uh what is the quality of study that's quite higher to our country if i compare it and i will feel more reliable to find the job in the future and also i will get a better understanding and I, I do have, I, I, will, I will get a real gain or more uh, about my course, what I want to do if compared to my country. In here, they provide me every single uh, support do I need it. It's, uh, it's, that's, I, don't, I do not have it in my country. Thank you. What are your post-study plans? Uh, sorry, can I didn't hear the question. What are your post-study? After completion of study, what's your plan? Uh, well, uh, first of all, I'm looking to, to do my course fair. after the graduation, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to join with the NHS and I wanted to provide or I'm going to provide NHS uh, and thus I would like to help people. I would like to uh, make something back to this country and because they allow me to study here, they allow, they, they provide me everything that I would need besides of my course and they help me to achieve what I'm doing now. That mean I want to reward them something back and I want to be part of NHS and play really important roles as uh, providing my experience and my hard working to them and make them proud as someone they have inside of them. Thank you. Who is financing your study in the UK? Uh, that's a really good question. My dad, and also uh my cousins they live here they're gonna uh, support me beside of my course so what what is the profession of your financial sponsors uh well, one of it is a pharmacist and the other one is a lawyer so how are you going to repay the tuition fee to your sponsors uh, you mean which ways? I say. Yeah. Uh, how, yeah. How are you going to repay them? Yeah, the, your tuition fee. Uh, after the graduate, yeah. Hopefully, if I got a job, I'll try to pay them uh, from my salary. How much is the maintenance cost in the UK? Uh, can you give me more specific clears? What is maintenance cost? It's like a, a it's in, a living in, cost, and yes, your day to day sort of oh, yeah, cost. Um, so how much is that? Uh, it depends because every city in UK they have a different style of life and have a, uh things is quite expensive to other cities. But I think the average in where I'm gonna live, so it's cost me around uh, uh thousand and five hundred pound per month including my renting and personal spend and my insurance and stuff. Thank you. Do you know whether you are entitled to work in the UK during your studies? 
uh, I think the, the unit, they do have a, uh, uh, where, where's my uh, campus located is quite to Bristol Summer Mills uh, Hospital. And I think they're gonna work in Bristol Hospital. Okay, thank you very much. That's all I have to ask. Uh, is there any questions for me? Uh, uh, no, I don't, I don't have a question, but I'm just uh, going to see the, what do you think about my feedback and answering the questions? Because sometimes it's, uh, I'm not answering properly or have a little gap. What do you think that I need to uh, for? Yeah, uh, thank you very much, Maher. Um, well, first of all, I mean, like I can see, as, as I said earlier, I can see the patient you are really keen to go on this course. That's yeah. really, really good. That's really positive. Uh, yeah. A couple of uh, questions I found a bit sort of, yeah, where you can improve a little bit. Yeah. Um, so one of the questions was about, uh, can you describe the course you will be studying? So, okay. uh, but, but, but that you can uh, straight away just, just start with the, about the duration, how long the course is going to be, the yeah. number of semester, like you're going to have, yeah, like two semester each year, two, three years complete course. And you can yeah. talk about the modules. These are the modules we um, I'm going to study. And yeah. this is the pattern, like full-time course or so three days uh, taught course, two days, uh, maybe the, the sort of, yeah, work. That, that, yeah. So you, you can explain it basically that way. Uh, like, I mean, th this, this straight away. So they, they know actually what you're studying exactly. Yeah. So you yeah. need to have a bit of a sort of, yeah, thought about this one. Uh, okay. I think the the rest is is really really good actually. What what I hear from your end, it's just a, a few more practices. So you are yes. more a lot a lot more sort of taking. Like I mean, when the question comes, you straight away answers basically. So the the, the answers are pretty yeah exactly what what you should be answering actually what, what you provided now. But yes. it'll be a lot more sort of a taking when once the question comes. Okay, so you, so you have the answer straight away there, and all it okay. means actually it will come with the practice. So okay, just, just practice them a few times more, and I'm sure you you're pretty much ready actually for 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 the interview, whatever it takes. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure you you will yeah you will um, clear it with with fine colors. Yeah, that's just what I can see. Okay, that's really nice of you, and I'm really glad that's. You no, it, it was it was it was it was really nice uh, to see you. You you were uh, slightly different than yeah what I have interviewed so far because you are based in the UK and um, yeah. I was in the impression actually generally these interviews goes for the actually someone outside the UK they come to the UK that but I yeah. didn't realize actually the same will go with with yourself as well. But yeah, I yeah. wish you really the best of luck and as as I said, I mean a few more practices. I'm sure okay. yeah, you do really well okay thank you uh yeah because what you said yeah you're normally expecting the outside uh uk students they come to come to here study but for me that's me to i still consider myself uh, as a uh outside uh student but I, i've been living here now so over here now they're going to consider me as a home student and i think they're going to really serious on interview and uh they're going to ask me a lot of hard questions that's i want to prepare and I want to be no, no, absolutely as, as I said I mean like uh, you got the passion there why you're yeah. studying there that that's all it matters um and okay. as long you have the knowledge of what you're going to be studying that that okay. is important basically so just just make sure you have a grip on the modules and uh, basically yeah what the study pa pattern will be uh, yeah. that, that should be good enough for, for yourself actually to clear it up Okay, thank you so much. And I wish you the very best of luck and uh, thank you okay. very much. Yeah, it was nice to see you. Yeah, me too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Take care. Bye. bye. I'm really good. What about you? You right? Yeah, I'm very well. Yeah, thank you very much for being so prompt, actually. Exactly 1630, you were online. That's great to see that. Uh, so it, it, it <laughs> looks like, yeah, you're really excited. You have to go on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really looking forward and I hope this is going to be a wonderful opportunity for me and willing to have a great time with you. 
Yeah. So, uh, okay. Before we get a bit formal, obviously, uh, I suppose. I mean, you've seen some, uh, a few videos. I mean, I, I ran. I mean, these these interviews, the mock interviews, which are become a bit serious actually to make sure you get the same feeling as as the original sort of interview. Um, I'm going to ask you all the questions, which are pretty much a similar question which I already provided those ones. But before okay. though, before that, actually, if you can briefly introduce yourself, like I mean, your name, what's the plan? Actually, what you're going to study in the UK? When are you planning to come here? Uh, well, that's a really good question. I'm already here in UK, and my name is Mahiaya. What I said on my account, I'm I'm originally from Sudan, right. and I've been living here for a while now, and. My future goal plan is I want to be a radiographer. I want to study diagnostic radiographer. Right. Um, yeah, hopefully I will do my best to achieve this or succeed this uh, uh, hopeful meal. Yeah, I want to make myself and my family is proud. Okay, no, no, that's, that's a good ambition. So, so have you studied here in the UK already or have you start, uh, started? At the moment, at the moment, I'm doing a level three access course, mm -hmm. and I already applied for some university, uh, like West of England mm -hmm. and Postmos University. Right. And the both of them, they offered me an uh, interview, mm -hmm. and yeah, I'm willing to do. Or oh, uh, I want to make those interviews successful, and I'm really looking forward to offer me a place. Um, okay okay now it's, it's really good to know actually um i wasn't actually to be honest i mean i thought i mean these interviews are mostly for overseas like i mean they are outside the uk i didn't realize i mean it happens the same sort of interviews to the internal students yeah, as well yeah i know that yeah but for for example me too i'm i'm a, I'm a foreign student and i consider myself as not home student still i'm a uh, outside uk student and i don't know uh the system how they be test a student and i want to increase my knowledge and i want to know what exactly i'm going to expect in an interview i want to answer the all questions i want to make everything clear mm -hmm. and make them that's this right person we're going to give them uh a place and yeah right okay now it's I, it's, it's really good actually um so uh, yeah. uh, honestly i mean uh, can I if you don't mind can i shed this slide because sure I mean, <laughs> yes sure it's better now yeah it's, <laughs> it's a lot better um yeah i mean yeah. looking at your your passion and your enthusiasm your interest in the subject that yeah. what it matters so you need to show off exactly what you're talking to me now basically you, okay. need, to, you need to show that interest that you are really keen i mean to to go on that course that okay. is very very important obviously you need to have the uh basic knowledge about what you're going to study about the modules about the university i mean like yeah that sort of environment you, you need to have the yeah. basic knowledge but yeah. more importantly you need to show that passion what i can see now basically that's that's all it is actually as long as okay. uh, they, they, they're convinced that you you are really really the student that they're looking for basically of your interest uh, that's that's what they, they essentially will be looking for um, okay so what what i'm gonna do now my um we're gonna go through those questionnaire and yeah. uh, I, I will uh, listen to your answers how you how you performing and then i will uh, just m mark it up as well i mean if there's any deficiencies anything along the way so i'll mark yeah. them up with myself and then by end of the video i can give you yeah. some feedback actually where you can improve if if that is the case i mean so we're gonna go by that sort of pattern. okay okay if that's okay and you can hear me properly so we can start a bit formal okay 